The Post Crescent is becoming an information center, and what this means is we're moving from our old model of a newsroom that was just putting out a daily newspaper to an information center that's focusing on putting the news out in print, online, and magazines, and our weekly papers. So the goal of the information center is to put out information in a form that people want to read it in. The biggest change on the information center is we're no longer print-centric. We're really what's called platform agnostic. We're going to put out the news and we're going to put it out in a variety of different ways for people to choose the, the medium, the method that's best for them to consume it. We'll be immediate with our website, we'll be in-depth with our print daily newspaper. So the whole goal of the Information Center, get the information out in a variety of different ways rather than just the daily newspaper. The Post Crescent Information Center is really five different desks and each of those are headed by a senior editor. The Community Conversation Desk is headed by Larry Gallup, and Larry Gallup will be working with his team to reinvent our editorial pages in a new and different way that encourages a conversation. We want to go from a monologue to a dialogue. Community Conversation is about providing a forum for the community to talk to us, for us to talk to the community, and mostly for people in our community to talk with each other. We have a lot of different ways people can do that now, through letters to the editor, it's your call, writing guest columns, being part of the Reader Reaction Forum, but now we're going to be expanding the conversation. We started a, a forum area called Community Conversation at PostCrescent.com where people can talk about stories they've read in the Post Crescent or start topics of their own. We'll also be providing people a chance to read blogs that their Fox City's neighbors have created. All in all, we'll be devoting more of our resources in the print edition and on our website to comments and conversation from the people of our community. The Public Service Desk is headed by Jamie Mara. And Jamie Morrow will be making sure that we continue our tradition of watchdog reporting, enterprise reporting, our First Amendment commitments. He's also going to be working to get this information out on different platforms than just the daily newspaper. As senior editor of public service for the Post Crescent, my role is really based on uh, watchdog, the fundamental, the fundamental mission of newspapers uh, to keep track of government in their communities, to keep, keep tabs on government. And that's not going to change with this. What will change will be the involvement of you, our, our readers and our viewers, uh, in terms of your, your help in, in us fulfilling that mission. And we've developed a couple of tools to help do that. One is called uh, our Post Crescent Watchdog, which has been up for a while, as well as something called Help Us Investigate, where we, we really want your input on, on pointing us in the right direction and giving us some tips on that. You are out there in the community, and we want to... We want to tap you for those things. Another part of my new role is uh, managing the databases for, for the Post Crescent. Um, this, is, this is information that we want to gather and have on hand for you in a usable format, whether it's calendar information all the way to uh, information about your local schools or teachers or, or pay for government officials. So a pretty broad range there. Our local desk is headed by Deputy Managing Editor Amy Palaszczuk, and the local desk includes all of our local reporting efforts, news, community news, sports, business. All of those journalists are together in one team, and they are really the cornerstone of what we're going to be producing in the Information Center. Reader surveys have told us over the years that the one thing that people look to the Post Crescent for is local news coverage. What's going to change now is people are going to get that information a whole lot faster, and you're going to get it more often and how my world is going to change is I'm going to bring it to you all the time every 15 minutes between 7.30 and 7.30 7 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. and reporters are going to file first for our website their stories will be on our website first before they go to the print edition and what we're also going to do is we're going to harness the power of our weekly newspapers and what we're going to do is use the staffs in those four areas to help us supply some of that content between 7.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. And what that means for our readers of our weekly newspapers is that they don't have to wait anymore. They can get it right away. What we're also going to do is I'm going to be working closely with Brad Zamanik, our sports editor, on expanding the scope of our local sports coverage, which is already really good with our coverage of prep sports. But what we're going to do is expand that into youth, youth sports, rec leagues, it's going to be local, 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 and it's going to be every 15 minutes. The multimedia desk is headed by Dwight Nail, and Dwight and his team are really everyone that's devoted to photography, graphics, digital operations, and our traditional copy desk print functions. They're all together in one team, and they'll be focusing on how do they deliver the news and information on different platforms in the best and fastest ways. What's changing 
is instead of just dealing with photographers and images every day, I'm going to de be dealing with the online department, working with the online department, working with um, the uh, copy desk to basically tell better stories for our readers. We post photo galleries, what we call photo galleries, series of photographs that you can't get in the newspaper. So I'm going to be involved with that more. What our photojournalists do, they'll, you'll not only see them out on the field with a still camera, that's not going away, but you'll also see them using a video camera. We have all these options in front of us now. What I have been telling people is what we've been wanting to do. It's the same canvas, but the brush is just much bigger. Our custom publishing desk is headed by Ed Berthume, and Ed Berthume and his team will be producing our feature sections, but also content for the magazines the Post Crescent produces, sections like Living Well and Weekend, which are targeted uh, specialty publications, and also coming up with new ways to reach specific audiences. Um, what, what are they looking for? What information would they like to see? As we, as we kind of go into this new world order, we are, we are looking to, to reach readers in a, on a variety of platforms, including um, on the web. So I'll oversee our features coverage on the web, but we also are working closely with our, our magazine division and producing monthly magazines that will reach readers in a different way, a different platform, in a different format. Uh, and we're also, I will also oversee our uh, special sections in the Post Crescent and on uh, the website. And that is again another platform in which we will reach sometimes the same readers, but in many cases different readers who might not read us in the daily paper, but might catch us uh, through our magazines, through our website, through our special sections. The Digital Nerve Center is really the heart of everything that we're trying to do to get the local news out to the people as fast as it can. Joel Christopher is our digital content editor. Steve Kabalowski, our digital operation editor. They work as a team and the people working with them in, in their respective roles to make sure that anything that we produce is focused on getting it on the web first. So that postcrescent.com becomes an immediate source to go to for news and information no matter what time of the day. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. The creation of the Information Center allows us to make the moves that we're trying to make, which is uh, a complete focus on web-first news. Our, our print product is still an extremely important part of what we do, but we gather and, and produce so much news prior to the newspaper being printed that this gives us the options to get information out to people as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. You guys have I've asked everyone to send me an email when they're posting stuff, which has been really, really helpful, by the way. We're now asking uh, everyone uh, in what used to be the newsroom, which is now the information center, to think constantly about how they can get information to people uh, as effectively and as quickly as possible. To subscribe to the Post Crescent, call 888 996-1919